Hello and welcome back to the channel. Not too long ago I did a video about my off-grid solar shed setup but quite a bit's changed since that video in that short period of time and I've come to show you what I've done. So I've flipped you around here and I have replaced my 45 watt EcoFlow portable solar panel with, an, with a 100 watt flexible solar panel by EcoFlow and I went to flexible because I I'm just a DIY person, not very good at it. And it was on special for $119, I think, on Amazon. I was saved quite a bit of money. I think the retail is $189 Australian dollars. And it's slimline and it fits on this shed roof quite nicely. Still got the four um, magnetic hooks secured with the carabiner. So it will flap up a little bit, um, but it's not going anywhere. And magnets were already quite strong. But for extra security, I glued them down with some special glue that can withstand the Australian heat. So that's not going anywhere. And in the middle here, I've um, screwed it on the eyelets and one up the very back there. And yeah, because that's the raised bit of the roof in the middle of the color bond. And here we have the two MC4 connections. And they're actually enclosed in this piece of tubing. Uh, it's already uh, IP68 rated and waterproof and all that kind of stuff but I, I covered it up to protect it from the sun because they'll probably crack it over time. And I've just run the tubing through here and there's my MC4 connections and it passes through a little hole in there. And you might be asking how did I get that inside there with the MC4 plugs? Well I had to cut the cable and pass through and reconnect. And no, I didn't do that. I got an electrician to do that for me because MC4 connections aren't very easy to work with. I'm not experienced, so I left it up to the expert. So let's head into my shed. Here we go. So here is the two cables all the way through. Round and round and round we go. There's the join and um, that's hooked up at the back of the xt 60 i connector. Now when it receives power, it's, um, this box is going to go on. Even if you turn it, turn it off and the sun comes up in the morning, it just turns it on. All right, that's how it works. So let's give it some load. We're at 99%. Um, it's not going to get any charge because it's already pretty much full. I think from forums and looking at the website, it keeps it between 97 and 100. Let's give it some load, turn on the AC, which will turn on my, my fan here. There we go, we've got the fan going. And we are drawing 32 watts to last about six hours, four hours. Okay, the shed door's just closed. Turn some light on. 32 watts and that's at the maximum maximum speed with the rotation. So that's pretty much all I can say. I've, I'm, I'm really happy with this with this setup. So far it serves the basic needs of this shed which is just to have power, off-grid power. I'll eventually put some of my tools in here. Uh, this light over here that's powered by an independent solar panel which I'll just quickly show you over here. And that's actually a bifacial on solar panel and quite uh, affordable too. It's from, from Bunnings, Bunnings Australia. Uh, Click branded, I think it was about, it's between $30 and $40. Um, and I'm just, as you can see, very DIY job passing that through. And that was quite easy because the DC cable is quite thin and all the way there. Got two levers as well. Click branded. And as you can see, I've put a layer of insulation on the very roof here as best as I could, um, just to give it a little bit of protection from, from the heat. Imagine the Australian sun hitting on this roof isn't very pleasant in the summer. Let's see if I can bring down the load a little bit so we can see some power. How are we going to do that? Let's pull out the XT60 connector. 
60 eye. I pulled that out. I'll pull it out for a little bit and um, I'll come back and show you that it's actually working. Okay, we are back. It's still unplugged, the solar. Um, we're down to 97%. I'm drawing that 29 watts. I'll plug the XT60i cable back in. Let's see if I can do it one handed. There we go, put it in. So we should start seeing some solar input in. Yep, 20, 27, 32. It's climbing up there. It is about 5.30 p.m. in the afternoon. So still got some sun here in the summer. 36 watts. Well, I can't give you a an accurate figure of solar input because we're close to 100%. But I think that the, the charge controller built into the EcoFlow is uh, just matching matching the load so far. So I can basically power this until the, the sun goes down in four extra hours. So I hope you enjoyed my update on my off-grid solar setup here. I decided to get my foldable 45 watt panel off the roof because, first of all, it looked like it wasn't a fixed installation and in saying that this doesn't look as fixed because of carabiners but it definitely looks a lot a lot cleaner than it was before and now that i can charge my stuff in here i charge the ecofo river too if i get another ecofo device i can i can plug it in there as well and if i take my ecoflow in the car and away from home i've got my 45 volt solar panel that i can take anywhere and charge on the go so that's the reason why I got the um, 100 watt flexible. I didn't go rigid because it would require more tools and more drilling. And yeah, I just think this flexible one works quite well and um, suits the shed. Thank you. Um, stay tuned for more solar content, more DIY stuff from me. I really enjoy it.